In this video, we'll be looking at graphing exponential functions and how they vertically translate. So to vertically translate an exponential function, all we have to do is just add a constant on outside this power term here. So if this power term here has a value of say 5, and we add on 1, that simply goes to 6. If we take away 2, 5 take 2 is 3. So this should be a fairly straightforward linear translation. If I graph this in GeoGebra, 2 to the power of x plus c So what I'll do this time is I'll draw a line through the x-axis with a value of x equals 1 and we'll look at what value that passes through. So here it passes through at y equals 2 if we increase c to be 1 then this is passing through at 3 if we make C2, it's passing through at 4, and C is 3, it's passing through at 5, and C is 4, it's passing through at 5. So this is a linear translation. As we increase C, the graph shifts upwards by the same amount. And likewise, when we go c equals minus 1, now it's passing through at y equals 1. So that's 1 less than where it was passing through originally, which was 2. So if we sketch the function y equals 2 to the power of x, and we now want to draw the function y equals 2 to the power of x plus 3. All we have to do is raise each of these points up 3 units. So I've shifted those points over and now this function comes up like this. So each one of these points has shifted up three units. If we want to graph the expression for y equals 2 to the power of x minus 3, we have to shift each point down three units. Just shifting those points down. Each of those shifts down three units as well. So adding a constant term outside the power that shifts the exponential function vertically. If that constant is increasing, then the function shifts upwards. If the constant term is decreasing, then the function shifts downwards.